shallow right here. I'm going to have to move again soon. Just a real shallow part of the lake. There he is. Yes. I got a crappie. It's got to be. Or it could be a red ear. Oh, yeah, crappie. Yo, yeah. Man. Woo. Oh, told you the blue ice is the color out here. I had my drag two week. I'm lucky I didn't lose him. All right, guys, I just got, we haven't even been fishing. Five minutes. Caught me a nice black crappie on the Bobby Garland blue ice with a 1 8 ounce plain jig head. This water is so clear you can see 10 foot down. When I anchor, I can sit there and stare at my anchor on the ground, on the bottom, I mean. Nice little black. Yeah. Not too bad, guys. Off to a good start. This is a community lake. Never underestimate the power of a community lake that has a lot of pressure. You figure half the people don't know what they're doing and the other half fish from the bank where it's shallow so you got a real opportunity at still getting fish at a public lake you gotta you gotta make long cast and you when your lure gets Good average though. Oh look, he's gold. Yeah. Awesome. I'm glad we didn't move. I don't know what I'm thinking. If you're shallow, you just gotta cast it out. I'm holding it up that hill. There's a drop out there somewhere. We're only five feet of water right here, but out in front of us we're like 15 or 12. We're gonna have to keep it. Alright guys, another Another gold, this is a golden black crappie. Pretty cool. We didn't want to keep fish today, but we're gonna keep this guy. I'm just getting the blood off. You had one? Mm-hmm. Unless that was a rock. Oh man, I got a nice one. I got a nice one. Oh yeah, bigger. He's nine. Boy, man. God, look at that thing. I don't know. I don't know. We shouldn't keep him. We want him to be here every time we go. Oh man, that's a nice crappie guy. This is a male, but he's kind of a combination of black and charcoal here, but he's also still gold on the sides. That is a sweet crappie. Nice. All right, that's the last one we're keeping then. That's it. Nice four out of five cast. That's a crappie fish. Oh man. Real pretty males too. Boy. My goodness, another nine or ten inch. Or... He's nine. Nine inches. I've caught so many crappie in my life, guys, that I don't have to even measure them until they get about 13, then I gotta measure them because it's hard to tell after that. But from four inches to 12, I can do it without looking. Plus my job is measuring boxes at work. I measure the dimensions of boxes for UPS to calculate the shipping cost. So that's how I've gotten really good at measuring stuff by eye. 
half the boxes I measure at work, I don't measure them either because I got them memorized. So that's how that worked. <sighs> Pliers. I know they're up there. I mean, oh, man, why are they? Okay, guys, what a beauty! Look at how dark this crappie is. He is jet black. His cheeks and his bottom below his gill plate is jet black and gold. Now that's what I'm talking about right there. What a beauty. We came here for red ears, but it looks like we changed our plans already. Maybe we'll get lucky and catch a red ear on just a bottle of garland, which I have. Yeah, they're a little windy. That's why they're fighting so good. Bluegill robbed me ten times, at least ten times. He stole, completely stole my worm that many times. I was so aggravated at him that I never gave up and I finally hooked him. It was a nice bluegill, big seven inch male. I was just about to move, but because it was that frustrating. They're on the side of this tree, down tree that goes down diagonal. It finally paid off. That was one frustrating fish to catch. You deserve to get catch, buddy. If that's the same fish that's been doing that, it's been frustrating. See, they're nice bluegill, though. No. I'd be able to get lucky and get a few more, maybe one or two more where we did earlier. If we go to that same exact spot. Yes! Crappie! Oh! Mm. Alright guys, finally, after a really big dry spell, finally got my first female of the day. She's real pale. Real black. So far they're all about the same. They're eight and nine though, they're not bad. This one, this guy was really pale. Five crappie and one bluegill. Did not get any red ears today and I gave up on them. Well, I don't think there really is. You got one? Wilma's got something here. Probably a nice red ear. What the hell is that? Oh my god. I was just telling her not to drag her worm with the canoe that it was just dangerous and risk getting hung up. Well, she just proved me wrong. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Wilma got her first fish of the day and it was a decent one. Nice little one pound channel cat anyway. Take it off above the canoe. You're going to lose it. You're going to lose it. You need to bring it in. Hold it for a few seconds. Good job. Okay, hold on. Okay. Nothing here, I guess. Good job, Wilma. You got something. I don't think it's a crappie. Yes, it is. Let me film you here. Finally. That was probably the one that was hitting mine. He felt a lot bigger than that. They're all the same, but they're all keepers. Nice little black crappie. She got her first crappie of the day, so she caught a channel and a crappie. Hold it up for me when you're done. Hold it down a little bit. Good job. You got at least you got something before we went home. Turn a little bit. 
There you go. Good job, man. That's awesome. That's the one that kept hitting me, I've told you. That bastard hit me three times. Doubles now. All right, I'm going out there. Let's see if I can get one. Yep. I got hit too. Oh, he dropped it. Mine let go right when I set the hook. There he is again, though. Oh, yeah, he gave me a second chance. Oh, my God. Nice red ear. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh. All right, guys, we just got double. She got a shell cracker, and I got a black crappie. That is awesome. Let me film you first. Or let me take this off the hook. Doubles, guys. Let me zoom. Here, you hold. I don't know what to do. All right, nice crappie, guys. Here, let me just hold the crappie for a second. And then I'll film your shell cracker. All right, guys, we got on right at dark. Awesome. That's a nice red ear, honey. Hold it up for us. Man, that's beautiful. That is a, hold it down, perfect. Right there, a little down. Down a little bit. Up. Uh, okay, that's good enough. Right, hold it up again. I wanna get it, make sure I got it. Sideways. Okay, down just a tad, right there, right there. Okay. On the Bobby Garland, huh? Mm-hmm. They're about there. Red ear. Man, you lucky dog. God. Yeah, it is. What do you got? That's got to be a big bass. Oh, I don't know. What is that? She's got something nice here, guys. Oh my God, don't lose it. Keep tension on it, but don't let him wear down. Let him wear down. Don't do, don't, don't reel any more line in. Just let him wear down. You'll risk breaking your line. It's a big catfish. What? <laughs> Don't grab it by the line. Don't grab it by the line. Grab the fish. Grab the fish behind the head. Don't ever grab the line. Guys, she just caught a nice channel cat on a Bobby Garland of all things. He's about, that's about a two pounder. My goodness, hold that up for us. I want to zoom. On a blue ice Bobby Garland, you just never know. Oh Turn. Turn your body. Uh, oh my goodness, we ended up having a really good day. You can tell the full moon bites on. Good job. Hold it down a little bit. Up. Right there, right there. Man. On a Bobby Garland. That is crazy. <laughs> no wonder it was, no wonder it was so hard to reel in. I knew something was wrong there. I thought it was maybe like a two pound crappie at first. Then I started thinking maybe it's a bass. I didn't know what to think there. The pounds. I've never caught a catfish on a Bobby Garland. My goodness. He's real dark. He's getting real dark. There we go. All right, what do I got? Crappie. Man. Whew. Okay. All right, guys, I got another nice golden crappie here. Yes. Boy, we, we ended up doing really good in the evening, guys. The last 20 minutes before dark has just been on fire. Every throw, I get a bite. 
Wow. No. Maybe even eight. Maybe they do stock it. Who knows? Gosh. Another cat? Catfish. Another dang channel cat. On a Bobby Garland again, guys. What in the world? I've never seen catfish hit a blue ice Bobby Garland. I can see different color, but my goodness. What a great evening, guys. Wow. <laughs> We're both using the same thing, guys. We're both using blue ice bobby garlands. Just slaying them. Well, you got a big catfish this time. My goodness. Yeah, it's a catfish. I just seen it. It's about a pound and a half. Don't do that. Just let him wear down. You got to be more patient. Oh, you're using your other line. Guys, she has gotten three big catfish tonight. Or not big, but three nice, three decent channel cats. We got her third channel cat on a Bobby Garland again. Blue ice Bobby Garland. A little smaller than the last one, but bigger than the first one. And we are out of here, guys. After this, we gotta go. We can barely see as it is. He's about to leave on a blue ice Bobby Garland. He's number four. Number four. Hold it down. Mm. Now straighten the fish out. He's all banana shaped. Yeah. Now it's hard to hold. I've never seen Pete someone catch so many catfish on Bobby Garland. Now there's no wind. Well, we did way better than I thought we would, guys. That was a good day. Until next time, hit that like button and please subscribe.